Welcome back, everyone. Burgers, boots, brews, and make a wish. <laughs> All sounds like fun things. We've got Murphy Sears here with us this morning. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Hey, we're, we're, we're glad to have you here. And you're telling us you're the chief development officer at Make a Wish here in Amarillo. That means you're in charge of all the fundraising, all you know, coming up with the ideas and everything. And you were just telling us about what you have planned for tonight. And I got to tell you, it sounds like a lot of fun and sounds like a good time and supporting a great cause. So tell us more about what people can expect with Burgers, Boots, and Brews. Absolutely. Well, tonight we are raising critical funds for children who we grant wishes to here in the Panhandle region. Um, we this So far this year, we have granted about 35 wishes for kiddos, but we have 43 kids waiting. So tonight we're trying to raise funding for those 43 kids who are waiting through a really fun burger competition. Uh, we have a band tonight. We have a silent auction. We will have wish kiddos in the room sharing the story about their wish. What we know about a wish is that it has transformative healing powers. And so we want the committee, the community to be involved in what we're doing here because we are 100% locally funded and we are granting wishes right here in the community. Well, and I think that's great for sure. I mean, and that's just a good thing to know when you go to one of these fundraisers to know that the money people are spending, it's staying here in our community and it's going, like you said, to help kids. I mean, there's 43 kids with wishes, you know, still waiting to be granted. So it's great that y'all are working on that. So I think that's just an important thing. I mean, all together, I mean, the fundraising and everything, but getting that mission out there and knowing the money they're spending is staying here in the community, right? Sure. So tonight at Rex Baxter, you can learn more about Make-A-Wish and what we're doing. Uh, from 6 to 9 p.m. tonight, we will have the burger competition. Seven local restaurants are going to be involved. Uh, again, we have a band and a silent auction. We have armadillo racing. So you Great. can come and learn more about what we do, and you can hear directly from Wish, wish Kids about the impact that a wish makes on a family. I mean, and I think that's great for sure. And like you were saying, there's going to be seven local restaurants. Because, I mean, that's one of the things I feel like a lot of, like, me and my friends, we talk about, like, restaurants and stuff. And we always have debates of like who has the best burger mm -hmm. in Amarillo and apparently you guys are going to be coming up with an answer to that at exactly. the Rex Baxter building. Exactly. We're going to have a very, very astute panel of <laughs> judges. Uh, so we will have a judges choice award. We will also have a guest choice award. So it'll be fun. Come out and vote for your favorite burger. Wear your uh, expendable uh, waistline <laughs> pants, something with a little bit of elastic, yeah. um, and come enjoy some bites of burgers. And so it's just these these sliders, right? So it's, you're not getting a whole entire burger. You won't, you know, explode. I don't it'll, think I could eat seven burgers. I don't think seven. I could either, yeah. but it'll be these nice sliders and you get to vote. And I think getting your your voice heard like that is, is super great and you get to learn about Make-A-Wish, which is always a great thing to learn about. Sure, absolutely. Every wish that we grant here in the region costs roughly $10,000. So again, we are hoping tonight to make a really deep impact in our fundraising efforts to be able to grant the wishes for the kiddos that we have waiting. So tell us uh, what people need to know if they want to come tonight. You know, sometimes you know, registering in advance is fine too, but this is one where people can just show up and just pay at the door, right? And when do they need to show up and how much is it going to cost? We open our doors tonight at 6 p.m. It will be $50 a ticket tonight if you'd like to attend. Um, and we are looking for anybody of all ages. We have plenty of space and room for you guys to come and put your boots on, dance to some good tunes, and eat some burgers. So tell me a little bit more about about Make-A-Wish as an organization, especially Make-A-Wish North Texas. Sure, so every 19 minutes, a child is diagnosed with a critical illness. And what we do at Make-A-Wish North Texas is provide a wish for those children who are suffering from a critical illness. What we know is that there's a transformative power through being granted a wish. A wish decreases the mental, emotional, and physical uh, trauma that is associated with the medical journey for that child. A wish is more than just a nice thing. A wish can also decrease hospital visits for a child. A wish creates an intangible, indelible, and long-lasting memory for that family uh, well beyond the actual uh, receipt or execution of the wish. Wishes are anything from going to a tropical beach, to meeting Disney princesses, to receiving a puppy, to a game room in your home. A wish is something that allows the child and the family to not focus on the illness, uh, to focus on being a family, to focus on being a child, and uh, to focus really on that healing and recovering process for that child. So where can people go to learn more about Make-A-Wish North Texas? Our website is ntx.wish.org, and there you can read wish stories, discover more about our mission, uh, additional events in the area, and just learn about who we are. You can also go there to become a wish grantor, so our community members can become wish grantors themselves and have direct impact on the children who are waiting for wishes. So I know there's going to be some wish kids there tonight. Do you have a favorite wish story about, about granting a wish? Oh gosh, I think my favorite is 
the little girl who dressed like Ariel and got to hug Ariel. And she was very, very quiet during the entire wish granting process and wish discovery process. But when she saw Ariel, this little seven-year-old lit up like nothing you've ever seen. And so what we understand in that moment is that a wish is more, again, than just a nice thing. It is something that uh, is transformative for the child. And you're doing this great event where the community can come out and support. And so one more time, could you just let us know when, where, how much, everything people need to know as we're, we're closing up. Absolutely. So 6 to 9 p.m. tonight at Rex Baxter in the Tri-State Fairgrounds. Uh, we will have burgers, boots, wear your boots. I'm wearing mine right now. <laughs> burgers, boots, and brews. Uh, we will have burger, a burger competition, a band, a silent auction, um, some games, armadillo racing. Um, we have tickets at the door for $50, and we would love to have anybody and everybody come out. All right, it definitely sounds like a great cause to support for sure. And thanks yeah. for coming and talking to us this morning. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Of course, yeah, so burgers, boots, brews are going to be a good time this evening.